Hi and welcome to this video on Train Sim World CSX Heavy Hall. Well, this would be the first look, but I've already started and created my character and done the first tutorial intro sequence. It would have been recorded, but I accidentally forgot to press record, so we're going to redo that now. So, all I've done is the intro sequence. So let's have a quick look okay, at this and get right back into it. So let's jump right into this. If I can work out how to start. Oh, there we go. Or not. I want to start this. There we go. That was a bit confusing. You have to click it and press E. Which I did the first time, but... Right. A bit weird, but... Welcome to Train Sim World. Thank you. We are delighted to offer you the position of railroad engineer on our Keystone subdivision. Your application was outstanding, and we are excited about what you will bring to the daily operations of Cumberland Terminal. We would like you to commence immediately, and will provide all required training at our Cumberland facility. Uh, first things first, this looks great. Hey, I'm currently running at 50, 52 FPS, so I'm not seeing any issues at the moment, so let's press E to begin. So when I look round, it drops down to 49. Hand eye 48. coordination is critical to operating locomotives on a railroad. Look down at the ground, up at the sky, left and right. Let's just turn this up a little bit. Better look down at the marker. And um, no. We've not got to. Okay. Look to the left marker. Go ahead. Look to the right marker. Pretty simple. There are many things that are not operated from a locomotive cab, so you'll be on your feet for a fair portion of the time. Stretch your legs for a few seconds to get warmed up. WASD is to walk around. Alright, press the again. Shift is to hold shift and run. Oh, I walk on the track. Press the escape. Oh, it's got a task log, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, map we'll look at in a bit. Settings up here. Let's have a quick look at the settings. Hmm, pretty cool. I got it on high graphics as well. Massive screen resolution. Hmm, but I've got it on windowed full screen now, so that's alright. Audio is pretty cool. I got. I've changed a few of these, so I've got high foliage, medium shadow, medium effects, high post process, high view distance quality, and high texture quality. If I run into issues, I can always knock them down. That's the physical portion of your training complete. Head over and climb aboard a locomotive. Uh, which one do you want? I'll get the smaller one. You to fly. Oh, look, we got a dude in here. Open the cab door and proceed inside. Left click to get in. Left click to close it. Oh, hello, mate. First take kit. Oh. This is really nice. This is... To take control, you'll want the engineer's seat. Head over and sit down. To see. Mm. 
this is really nice. sat in the engineer's seat of a locomotive, the driving heads-up display will appear in the bottom right corner. This okay. HUD shows key information about the state of the locomotive while you are driving. Right, I'll put it on this wall so you can see it a bit better on the right. The dials on the right display brake system pressures. Okay. Along the bottom are the direction, throttle, and brake type indicators. Finally, the exclamation mark on the left is the safety warning indicator, known as the alerter. This will illuminate when something requires your attention and must be acknowledged. <laughs> Sounds like something I'll need all the time. Safety always comes first on the railroad. So to start with, we need to let those around us know this locomotive is operational. Begin by turning the forward headlights control to bright. Okay, you can press H, but we're going to use the switch. Here it is. Oh, just click and drag. Bright. There we go. There are three key controls to operating this locomotive. The reverser, brakes, and throttle. The reverser determines direction of travel. Put this into forward. Forward. Okay, we've used W. Interesting. To the left is the auto brake, okay. which applies brakes along the entire length of the train. Let's move this to release. Release. Okay. We're about to move, so make two blasts of the horn to alert anyone around. Remember, safety first. We can press space. Interesting. Now add some power, but not too much. Too much power too soon can damage both the locomotive and the cars. Always start off nice and slowly. Increase the throttle lever by one notch. Okay, one notch. Oh, we can press A. We're gonna go one notch. Oh, we're moving. Oh, we've got speed up here and on the little up thing on the road. Just 10 miles an hour. Pretty cool. You're moving! Great work. To maintain a constant speed, Move the throttle back to its idle position. Okay. Or we can press D. So A and D is throttle. While driving, you may wish to view the train from the outside. You can do this by switching to one of the many external cameras. Okay. Three. Oh, look at the graphics. Man. Have a play with moving the camera around while the train is coasting along. Oh, look at this. This is nice, this is real nice. Look at the detail. I'm liking this already. One to get back in cab. Okay. That concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. So, let's bring it to a stop. Move the auto brake to initial reduction. Okay. As with applying power, too much brake pressure applied too quickly can be detrimental to the train and its cargo. Okay. Here we go. We're slowing down. Here we go. Slowing down. Oh, look at the steam coming out. There we go. Completed. Well done. You're now all set to explore Train Sim World. To learn more about railroad operations, you can trigger tutorials as you explore, or they can be found in the main menu. Okay, that's the end of the first tutorial, and we'll put it up there. Join us next time for the next one. Feel free to like, subscribe and leave a comment and on what your house you would like to see. Until the next time, see you later.